was saying, um, we need an explanation for the fine-tuning. And so we postulate a fine-tuner. Um, but you haven't mm -hmm. explained anything. I mean, you've, you've simply invented. Okay. You've magicked away the problem. And, and this is... This, this has been one of your, your, your key arguments in, in your book. Salam and peace. Welcome to Dawa Dude. I hope uh, you will enjoy this clip today because it uh, looks like it's a forced uh, conversion of the Richard Dawkins from atheism to theism. So let's play this uh, clip for you. Before I do that, please... Uh, Subscribe, and share, like, and leave a comment. Potentially pointing to a, a gap and, and filling well, it yes, with God. Is that your I mean, problem it, it, because with, with this? Because it seems to me all you're doing is pushing it back a stage, and you've still got, got to explain God. Right. You're, you're, you're saying, um, we need an explanation for the fine-tuning. And so we postulate a fine-tuner. Um, but you haven't mm -hmm. explained anything. I mean, you've, you've simply invented. Okay. You've magicked away the problem. And and this is this this has been one of your your, your key arguments in in your books, Richard. You know, just positing God just leaves you with something more complex to to, to describe something. Well, really there, there, there's that. Um, what what's but but, but yeah. I think but, but, but also yes. and, um, you you might convince somebody like me to be a deist, but. Then you suddenly say, "Okay, well, because of ah, he's converted. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, because of the fine tuning ar argument. But then suddenly, okay, then then we get Jesus Christ, and then we get crucifixion, then we get then we get we get resurrection, we get virgin birth. That's nothing to do with it. I mean, that's a, that's a, a whole that's a, a, a possibly dishonest way of smuggling in um, what you what you really want. Well, not you, but I mean what what." some Christians really want, which is to, which is to bring, bring in Jesus or, or, right. or Allah and Muhammad or, or Buddha, whatever it is. You cannot do that. I mean, you've, you've got, either you're going to stick with a fine-tuning argument, which is a good argument, or you've got to think, produce a really good argument for Jesus. But don't think that because you've convinced somebody of the, by the fine-tuning argument to be a deist, that therefore he's then got to believe in Jesus. <laughs> looks like uh, Richard Dawkins has no choice left for him. Either he has to believe uh, the explanation is uh, just like a pink elephant, like he always told to the believers. So probably now he has to assume that there must be a cause for this fine-tuning is a pink elephant. Or, as a believer, he has to believe that the God is behind or God is the fine tuner, or He's the designer. So this is the uh, result of this. But one more thing you will notice that the uh, Dawkins is worried about that. Then he has to believe in Jesus because in Christianity you have to believe in triune God or Trinity. So there's a big problem for Richard Dawkins too if he decided to become a Christian. But if he decides to become a Muslim, he does not have to go through this problem. She has to believe just only one God, his God. Allah is the creator of heaven and earth. He is the uncaused cause. He is the necessary being. And uh, that's the, uh, it's the perfect uh, monotheism he has to believe. And this is, um, and at the same time, he, he can believe Jesus as a prophet and messenger. And just like Muhammad, may peace be upon him, he's not God either. So God is only one. So... Let me explain to um, him on the, uh, this, the simple way how we can ex understand God. Let me play the chapter 112 for the, from the Quran, which explains the, the nature of God. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Say, He is Allah, who is one. Allah, Allah the eternal refuge. 
he neither begets nor is born. Nor is there to him any equivalent. <laughs>